Hey everybody, just thought I'd do a short video on rotor flight integration on the Ethos ecosystem. Uh, I'm using the rotor flight touch that Rob has done. It is fantastic. I don't think it's an official release yet. It's just um, something that he's got out there on GitHub. I don't think it's actually linked from the rotor flight main page yet, but it works great. Uh, I've got my recently New to me, Oxy4 set up on rotor flight. Thank you, Nick. And got it pretty much tuned yesterday. I'm, I'm really happy with how it's flying. But I just wanted to show the interface here, and I'm hoping the screen, yeah, it looks looks pretty good. Uh, let me switch hands on the camera so I can use my right hand here. So this is also uh, from Rob. This is the rotor flight status screen. You can see it's showing disarmed, 100% fuel, which Actually, there's no battery plugged in. You can tell by the zero voltage, so that's obviously not right. But to get to the interface, you just go to System Menu. It's on the second page. Wow, that's really bright. Let me turn the brightness down a little bit. Connects to the flight controller, and then you can either use touch or you can use the little scrolly touch wheel. So the beauty part about Ethos and at OpenTX, EdgeTX, you can do either one. But like if you want to adjust your PIDs, loads them, you, it's got a little help screen up here, which is really nice, that talks about the PIDs. It's got a QR code that you can scan to take you directly to the rotor flight page. Um, if you click on a value, it shows you a small little help thing down there, which is really nice. And let's just change that to like, I don't know, 99. And then you can save it, write it to the flight controller, it saves the data, and it's set to 99. Uh, if you change your profiles, it automatically reloads flight mode three. the page. Well, that volume is really high too. And you can see that's my other profile. Flight mode one. Um, same thing on rates. I've got my rates set up on a switch where I can change my rate profiles. So that's the one I was flying with last. I've got another one set up here that's different. I've got yet a third one that's different. It's really nice. And he has recently added some additional things. Um, if I had it plugged in, you can actually go in and mess with the servo centering and your mixer page. This thing is really, really shaping up. You can copy profiles from one to the other. It looks like they're working on some uh, speed controller integration as well. I don't know what the status of that is, honestly. But this is really good. Um, I used this to do all the tuning on this helicopter at the field or in the yard and it just worked great. I did first start using this radio but unfortunately the I couldn't get the integration scripts to run right on this T15. Its screen size is different from the Edge TX or the uh, I'm sorry the Radio Master TX16. So this is the Jumper T15. And I like it. Um, I like the radio. It's got a nice feel. I 3D printed some bigger stick-ins that are similar to like the Sticky 360s. I also swapped out these buttons. I put the momentary on the left and the two position on the right. Um, been flying my quads with it. Really like it. I like the feel for the quads, having no issues there. The ELRS is perfect, works great. And of course, in this, I'm using um, an ELRS module to go with the Radio Master receiver that's up here. Um, they both work. I've, I've had no issues running the module. Do I wish it was built in? Yes, because then I wouldn't have anything sticking out the back. But in my experience, the, the way Ethos works is just so much better than the way HTX is working right now with the scripts that I'm sticking with this for now. I'm hoping that in the future there's going to be more hardware 
I just realized I can see a reflection of one of my airplanes in that screen. <laughs> anyway, um, I'm sure that as time goes on, there's going to be more HTX compatible hardware. I mean, this is a new radio. Uh, there's another new one I saw that's, um, it looks like a clone of a T16. But I'm sure we're going to get more, and it's just a really exciting time to be playing with this, with rotor flight and with these radios. It's just a lot of fun, and I'm having a blast. So, hope that kind of clears up. I know that uh, Archie just made a video showing how all this works on his Edge TX radio, so I just thought I'd kind of show the same thing on the FreeSky Ethos side. It's, uh, you know, potato, potato, whatever flavor you like. That's the great thing about what's going on right now is we've got choices, and uh, it's, it's awesome. So hope that was entertaining or helpful, and let me know in the comments if you have any questions. See ya.